thank you for joining us. In our stressful times, hypertension or high blood pressure is a common disease that affects society. Today on Yoga for Wellness, Coogan demonstrates how yoga can be used to manage this life-threatening disease. Another stress reliever comes from dharma, doing what is righteous. And Lokesh Ji follows up with us in the Ramayan, a blueprint for daily living. High blood pressure. This condition is defined as sustained, elevated blood pressure and is also known as hypertension. It has many causes which include psychological, physiological and environmental factors. Practice the following asanas with awareness to attain some relief. Uttanasana. Stand in Samasthiti, step the feet hip width apart. Feet are parallel and point forward. Fold the arms first, clasping the left elbow with the right hand and then the left hand clasping the right elbow. Inhale and extend the folded arms above the head in line with the ears. Lift and stretch the whole body up. Exhale, stretch the trunk forward and down. Keep the legs straight, trunk, arms, elbows extend towards the floor. Inhale, lift the trunk, come up, release the arms and step the feet together. Adha Mukhasvanasana, Downward Dog. Stand in Samasiddhi, exhale, bend both knees and place your palms on the floor next to your feet and step back approximately 1.2 meters. Keep your palms about shoulder width apart. Spread the fingers and press them evenly on the floor. Exhale and stretch the arms, keeping the elbows straight. Stretch the calf muscles and take the heels to the ground. Supta Virasan. Kneel on a mat with your knees close together. Gradually separate your feet. Fold a blanket and place it in between your feet. Lower the buttocks onto the blanket. Place your palms on your knees. Sit with your head, neck and back erect. And then recline onto the elbows and the back. To come out of the pose, Come onto the elbows, press the hands onto the floor and come to sitting. Extend the legs to Dandasan and then stand up. Badakonasan. Sit in Dandasan. Bend the legs one at a time, taking the knees out and the heel towards the perineum. Press the soles of the feet together. Widen the knees away from the hips and down towards the floor. Interlock the fingers and clasp around the feet. Push both the knees down by pressing the thighs firmly on the ground. Sit straight, spine erect, lift the chest and roll the shoulder bones back. To come out of the pose, relax the arms and bend them forward to rest on either side of your body. And then raise one knee at a time, straighten your legs one by one and return to Dandasana. Shavasana. Sit down on the center of a mat or blanket. With the knees bent, feet flat on the floor. Lower the trunk down to rest on bent elbows. Then slowly release the torso to rest in a straight line on the floor. Straighten the legs one at a time. Slowly drop out the feet to the sides. Rest the arm to the side of the trunk. Rotate the arms so that the palms face the ceiling. If the head is thrown back, use a blanket to slightly prop up the head. Lower the eyelids and close the eyes. Relax every muscle in the body. To come out of the pose, slowly open the eyes, flex the fingers and toes, raise up the knees, keep the feet flat on the floor, roll over onto the right hand side, press down with the left hand and come to sitting.